the Minister of State for Northern Uganda, Grace Freedom Kwechun, was in Lira to officiate the fundraising for the construction of PAG Worship Centre. This is on behalf of the Right Honourable Prime Minister. She unveiled a plaque on behalf of the Prime Minister, Robina Nabanja. I take a message back to her and say I was here and the plaque I opened bore her name. Kwechwin applauded the contribution of the church in development and pledged more support for all churches. But for some time we didn't have enough funds, but now I have started it again to reach out to the church. When I reach the church, I know I'm helping the community members. I know it is the community which contributes to the church, which builds the church, which keeps the unity in the church. And so through the church, we can pass... Uh, information on government policies. However, with the emerging leadership wrangles in churches and mosques, the minister urged the servants of God to embrace dialogue to settle their disputes. Whether it is a church, whether it is a family, whether it is a political system, so long as you have conflict, you are doomed. You are ruining yourself, your future, you are ruining prospects of development. So I would really think that we should minimize conflict as much as possible. Some people preaching the gospel. For close to a decade now, PAG mission in Lira Pastorate was pushed out of their worship centers by the breakaway group now called Yahweh Pentecostal Mission. Part of our vision is to reclaim back the properties that are in the hands of the breakaway group. We are not so much doing this in a hurry because godly things are done in a godly way. What we are after is still to maintain the relationship, the, the fraternity that we have with our brothers who are broken away from us. We don't want to do this thing in a destructive way, which will actually, you know, instead of doing good, will cause more problems. PAG Worship Center is currently looking for 2.3 billion shillings to complete their magnificent place of worship in Lira City. Bishop of PAG Lira Pastorate Silvana Sogwal says the initiative is part of the bigger plan to establish 50 distinctive urban assemblies throughout the country. Of course, we are appealing for some more contribution. 2.3 to 2.5 billion shillings is not, is not little money, it's much money. And uh, any other person who feels touched to give a hand towards this construction. The giving is highly welcome. When completed, the church is expected to accommodate about 900 worshippers with an extension of 600 Sunday school children. That is about 20, uh, 52% of the entire plot. Adiolo, UBC News.